actor Ashton Kutcher. Um, and it was an interview she remembered, and she was like, she'll never forget what he said. He said something like, like an interviewer asked him, "What did it take?" Because he he went from being like a supermodel to a A list actor, and the the interviewer asked him, "What did it take?" And he said, "I'm trying to remember what she told me, but he said something like." Um, it, it took me realizing I was special because the context of it was that growing up, when you do something special or when you express an idea or you have goals and shit like that, people make it feel so normal. And people accept such a normal life that it, you don't really put some respect on your own name if you don't really appreciate how special you are, how different you are, bro. Jugs, you know, I appreciate the T1 sub. If you don't appreciate that shit, you won't start to settle. You'll settle on your potential. You'll settle on your work ethic. You'll think certain things are normal. Because the bar is set, so you'll only go far as the bar goes. You won't go past the limits that other people have set for themselves and other people have set around you. But the point I'm about to make with this is the dude made that comment about, oh, yeah, you know, I was special this, that in the second grade. But how are you using your gifts? How are you using being special? You could waste the fuck out of any gift you got. You could waste the fuck out of yourself. And that's like the scariest thought that I, I can think of in my life right now. I'm not scared of death. I'm scared of like dying. Uh, fuck that. I'm not scared of death. I'm scared of dying and then looking on it like... I, I could have did this. Or like... like I, I don't know. Let me compare this. Let's say I died last year. And I didn't take the college courses I took. I didn't grow as much as I did. I didn't start playing the instruments like I did a year ago. Like I'm trying, I didn't get braces like I did a year ago. I, like all the shit that I started, et cetera, working on like many projects. Like I'm scared of like missing out on what I can do. That's a scary thought to me. Because imagine, chat, imagine you got all this untapped potential. One of y'all could be a future billionaire. One of y'all could be a future multimillionaire. You could, you could play six instruments. You got a booming music career. You a, you a crazy painter. You could be great at your sport, and you just never even, it just don't exist because you fucking sold. That's scary to me. Imagine, like, I'm as smart as I am, right? Test it real high. Test it high on IQ, right? I can absorb information fast, but I don't learn, or I'm not reading. I'm not teaching myself new things every day. That's a scary thing. Oh, and, and somebody who not don't have half the high IQ as me, better at the same subject because they put more time in. And that's the thing. is a lot of gifted and talented people that's just so lazy, that just have no discipline, that just quit, that just don't exercise right. Like I like how you were to exercise your gifts. They don't exercise that shit. They don't put that shit through the fire. They don't, they don't hone it. They don't tighten it up. <clears throat> Parents need to stop saying you need to be like this kid, ruining their own kid's potential. They only doing the best that they can. You can't hate them for it because they probably went on and let their dreams die and accepted what their life is, even though they're not dead yet. And, and a lot of times people can change careers and pursue all types of new goals in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. So even think about how people get complacent or they get older and they feel so old that like their life is over. We just talked about this the other day on stream. They didn't die. It's that their, their dreams died. It's like the motherfucker we know come around and say, man, you know, I was doing this. I was doing that. So, okay, now what? You ain't keep it up? Even if it would have been a new goal. Like, you ain't keep it up? You have done nothing to to exercise that ambition, that hustle, that that vision. You got you to gotta keep that shit. You got to keep that shit alive, bro. That shit dies. It's just a sad thing to see in a person. And it's not over. I don't believe it's over. But I, I just, I look on people's mistakes. I look at people's lives and say, okay, I need to watch out for that. That's how I think. I need to watch out for that. I work terms talent and natural skill. Real shit. Walk about it. Don't talk about it. I think the, I think people love to feel special. People don't love to do special things. People don't love to work in a special way. And what is working special? Working special is... You went to sleep three three o'clock last night. Woke up at seven and and grounded the whole day. No distractions. You ain't you ain't you ain't uh, filtering anything in. And it's honestly something I'm really working on now. As I'm sitting here thinking about 
the standard that I want my content to be, the standard that I want music playing to be and music, all that shit, the standard I want the fashion to be, the, the image, the brand, the quality, the con everything in my fucking life, finances. I'm like, yo, I can't just scroll on Instagram no more. Like, I can't just open TikTok no more. I can't just... Like, wasting time is just... It don't, it don't even make sense. It, it don't even fit in my mind anymore.